Good morning, everyone. I'm looking a little bit crazy, but today we are getting induced this evening. I am 39 weeks pregnant. The baby is measuring over nine pounds, 99th percentile, and we are just so excited. I was induced with my first as well, but I did not need to take Pitocin because the Cytotex worked really fast for me. Um, I gave birth to her like five or six hours after taking it. So that's what we're gonna do again. I'm hoping it works the same this time. Where's that green chair? Oh, the green chair? I put it away. Oh, my sweet angel. I love you. Hey, I'm gonna make it. Sorry. My husband and I, are going to try to sneak away and go get some brunch together. Our au pair is here with our daughter. Just as a little last, not date night, but a little date before we become a family of four, which is crazy, so. It's 1.53. <laughs> I got the call at 1.30 to come in. So we're going in. I slept for probably um, an hour and a half. Same with Colin. So not ideal, but we're going in. We were checking in and right as, as I was filling out the paperwork, a lady came in who was like in labor in a wheelchair and was like screaming and pretty sure she just took our room. So Definitely. I hope they have another one. <laughs> oh boy. Hi. <laughs> um haven't been given the cytotech yet because the baby's heart rate is too low. So they're monitoring it for a while. And I'm just chilling here with my blankie. And your hubby. And my hubby. Date. We're having a baby. We've got the Cervidil, different uh, medicine to induce. Yeah. Because the first one was giving you chest pain. It was I like, love almost having it was a like six or seven doctors came rushing in here when she said that. <laughs> but then, well, at least it like stopped. Well, they stopped it. They gave me the thing to stop the Cytotec from working. They're like, yeah, we're not going to do this anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so then you took the Cytotec and then a drug to stop the Cytotec and then <laughs> now another drug to induce again. So we're going to try it again. Hopefully this time it works. You're going to do your makeup. Yeah, I got to look good for this baby. First impressions, babe. <laughs> you don't want her to... <laughs> oh, what? You don't want her to think, oh, that's my mom. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Yikes. Put me back in. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to think of me, though? Well, she won't be able to see me at all unless I hold her really close and then she'll be like... Even if you hold her really close, I don't think she's going to be able to see any anything. Just, for, like, just shapes and sounds she's and colors. See, not colors. She's going to see in like, black and white for a little bit first. Hmm. No, she'll just be like, I know that voice. Get that guy away from me. And we're gonna go home and she'll hear our other child's voice and be like, oh. <laughs> oh no. I know you. <laughs> oh no. We meet again. Clara texted you. What did she say? She said, I message. <laughs> oh, she texted you again. Same message. <laughs> right. She's okay. <laughs> can turn off the vlog now. We'll update <laughs> you guys later. Delirious with tired. I know, I can tell. 
I'm having pretty frequent contractions and I barely feel them. So I don't know what that's about, but I'm feeling good. Uh, Call her Contracto. I'm having contractions that are so close together and I feel them, they're painful now, but they're so manageable. And I'm, aff I'm like, ooh. Should I skip the epidural? Should I try to do this naturally? But I feel like I'm gonna regret it. So I'm gonna wait until I can't talk through them and be like, hit me up with that medicine, doc. But not yet. I'm gonna trek on as long as I can, which is way longer than I thought. I'm doing, I'm doing great. What do you think? Um, you look really pretty. Oh, stop it. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> really. It just sucks, though, because Colin and I have not slept, like, pretty much at all. We both got maybe an hour or two last night, and now it's oh, 11 a.m., 11.30. So, uh... What's the word? Oh, my God, you are so close to me. <laughs> Um, got the epidural, we're six centimeters dilated, that shit hurted real bad. Um, baby's heart rate's a little low, so we're doing some oxygen and trying some different positions. And, yeah, it's, the Cervidil worked great. I wish I did that instead of the Cytotec this morning. That was my bad, I forgot which one, uh. I did the first time, but I feel, I'm feeling great. The epidural this time, I can feel, like my, I can move my legs, I can feel down there. Well, not that much, but with Junie, I was like completely numb. So I'm excited because I can feel everything, which means I will be able to feel the pushing. Um, yeah, feeling good. We are almost there, still of the epidural, but I feel everything, I even like, feel all the contractions so I'm really excited that I'll be able to feel pushing and have the shakes right now but it's okay and I'm so excited mm -hmm. are you excited Well, we did it. That baby has been borthed. She's perfect. Nine pounds, nine ounces, out in one push. <laughs> Feeling good. They inserted a Jada system into my uterus afterwards because my uterus was not like fully contracting on the lower part and I was losing some blood. Um, and so this thing they put in there, it's basically a vacuum sucking out my blood um that worked for it was working but it wasn't like slowing down so then they gave me this like shot um some kind of medicine that's hopefully gonna slow the bleeding and I, I guess they were just kind of like didn't know what to do like this shot was kind of their last resort because they usually give cytotec when this happens um Obviously, they're not giving it to me because of this morning I had a like a heart, like a cardiac reaction to it. So, and then she wanted to give me an antibiotic because she was digging around in there for so long. But I'm allergic to penicillin, so they had to give me two antibiotics of some other, some other family. So it's been a long, it's been a long day. Hey guys, it's the next day. She's sleeping right there. Colin went to go get the car, the car seat, because we are being discharged after. We are being discharged after only 24 hours because she passed all her tests. Um, 
I recovered really great despite the hemorrhaging <laughs> and all the all the problems we have, but everyone's healthy and get to go home. And you get to meet your big sister. It's funny because everyone keeps talking about how big she is. She's almost 10 pounds and she's just so small compared to my toddler that I don't even like, I can't, I don't see her as like a big baby, you know what I mean? But you are, you're a chunky monkey, you're smiling. Oh, I love those little beginning gassy smiles. She'll get bigger like you. Oh, you're cute. You can rock her. You want to rock her? <laughs> We're playing for the swing. Yeah, well, we'll put her on the swing in a little bit. She's a little too small right now. Yeah. 